If you want to build a guitar and you've never done it before, I'll warn you, it's a, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a task. I finished this last night, first real time I'm plugging it into this amp with all my pedals and everything. So. I picked this design because I've always wanted a Telecaster and uh, Telecaster is a working man's guitar and I, I want to use this on as many gigs as I can and I know it's not going to break on me. part was probably definitely the neck. The neck was a pain. Uh, putting the, the truss rod in, anyone that knows anything about guitars knows that this skunk stripe in the back is way too big. Uh, it should be about half the size of that, but CNC machine went a little wild and made it double size. So getting the truss rod in was a bit of a challenge. There's some shims in there that helped us out, uh, but we got it working. The truss rod works. Frets were challenging as well, just making sure these spacings were correct. We had one of them that was not totally perfect, um, which at the close-up shot, you could see third fret was too far back. Uh, but we fixed that, so it plays great now. This is a alder body and maple neck, which is standard for Fender guitars. We got the alder body from a luthier website on just online. Had it ordered. Two piece alder body. Alder body it splits about right here, and then we have about six more feet of maple in the back of the garage because apparently you can't buy just like three feet of maple. You have to buy like the whole plank. So we have, we went to lumber yard, got some maple, and I didn't think it was gonna be this pretty of a piece of maple, but it ended up being great. And I love the way it looks. Got these little wheels on the back that clamp the string in place instead of just having to wind it. This guitar has a four-way switch instead of a three, which means I can decide whether, when both pickups are engaged, I can decide whether it's wired in series or parallel, which is kind of cool to show you what that sounds like. And then in parallel, this is just a thicker option.
But yeah, this big cutout and this big cutout are not, don't come on most Fender Telecasters. Usually it's just a plank of wood, but I like these because it gives it more of a little bit more of a modern feel. And I got to pick how extreme these cutouts were. So they fit my body really nice. What was the most boring part? Sanding and painting it. Painting it was cool. I got to watch, but my dad did all the, the spraying. But yeah, a lot of sanding. Also the SolidWorks drawing for the CNC was kind of boring for me because I don't know how to use SolidWorks. My dad's pretty good at it. Mm -hmm. 